I thought it would be cool to do this video showing you the tree, the trees. I really had fun decorating this year even though I wasn't in the Christmas spirit. So those are my trees. I'll show you again. Uh, you know. Okay, so I'm doing a tag. I'm doing Lisa's third tag. And while I'm doing this tag, I'm going to do something that I normally never do. I'm going to do a, um, a holiday-themed face mask. Cooling and refreshing peppermint. 20 minutes? Okay, well, the video is probably going to take like an hour or so. First, I want to see what it looks like. If it's, I mean, does it have like a nice... No, it's just white. Okay, well that's kind of a, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, the packaging is so, whatever. Oh, it's all slimy. I'm going to wash my face proper after I uh, use this mask. My skincare routine, look, I'm 47. My skincare routine is washing my face with apricot exfoliating acne medicated scrub every day, twice a day. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be washing this crap off my face after the video is over. Oh, it's cold and disgusting. But Jangles, this isn't the time. This is not the time to be on mommy's desk. Please get off. Please get off. Please. Thank you. It's a Bojangles free zone. Okay. I mean, it is cooling and it does smell like peppermint, but I mean, you know. This is Lisa's third Christmas tag and it's called Christmas Memories. First, okay, I have to talk about probably the best Christmas memory ever. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. This Christmas, I was 14 years old, okay? <laughs> if my family watches this, they're gonna be like, oh my God, yes, I remember. It was so ridiculous. I remember that Christmas. I remember that Christmas. Jeremiah was my, let's, yeah, he was my third cousin. And so, you know, I was 14, he was 12, look. I am Generation X. I am not from Generation Why Were You Born. Um, so like Gen Y and Z can kiss my ass because I am Gen X and things, we were not uptight, we were not, we were not uptight. So this particular Christmas, I was 14 and I was also had like a banging body. And I was, I'm 5'1", and I weighed like 120 pounds, and I like had this banging body that I just didn't know how to like present, you know what I mean? So I'm just telling you that so you understand why a 12 year old would think I was like attractive or whatever. Like I didn't look the way I look now, okay? So it was the holiday season, it was Christmas. My mom, like my mom, my aunt, my uncle, you know, their cousins from New Mexico came to visit with their kids, Natalie and Jeremiah. Natalie was like 15 or 16, and Jeremiah was 12. And he was the cutest thing. He had this blonde hair, and he was like, he was just like really cute and he was like really skinny and like that's what like I was always attracted to like skinny guy, skinny boys skinny guys skinny boys oh my god the moment I saw him my heart was like triple in the, tripled in size and he had like the accent you know I can't even do the accent but they had an accent and he was just so adorable and I was just instantly fell in love it was like love at first sight right all the cousins were there. 
and their kids. So there was like all these people, like the family just came together for Christmas and for New Year's because they visited for like, they must have been down here for like two or three weeks. I just remember all of us kids, like, like the boys and the girls would separate and we would like gossip and like I would like talk about how much I loved Jeremiah and I don't know what the boys were talking about but and like at one at one day I think this is the New Year's not the, maybe maybe it was Christmas I don't know but we went to my mom's cousin's house and I was in the basement by myself and it was like one of those finished basements with like a TV and like couches and like a pool table and I'd never played pool in my life ever Jeremiah had come downstairs <laughs> and it was like straight out of a fucking teen movie like no one else was down there and I don't know how it happened, but he like, you know, like in the movies when you see like <laughs> the boy or the, or the guy like teaching the woman <laughs> how to play pool and he like leans, he like gets behind her and he like tries to like, that's what he did. He was like trying to like show me how to play pool and it was just such a time. I know it sounds so lame, but for me, like that was like. It was probably the only time in my life where I felt or acted like a normal teenager was when this 12 year old boy was like, you know, he, he kind of, he had like a little crush on me too. And, and he was teaching me how to play pool and like leaning over me, like doing the whole thing. And <laughs> some people would hear the story and be like, ew, like he was, you're, he was related to you and he was 12. Yeah, he was related to me and he was 12 and I love it. Yeah, some people would be like, oh my God, that's so gross. He was your cousin and he was 12 and you were 14 and like you got, and you know, like, you guys like had a crush on it. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, there's nothing gross about it. It was perfectly normal and healthy. It was just a fun time because the family got together for Christmas. We like saw them. They were like, we would hang out at my grandma's house. It seemed like they came over like a few times and then we would go to like my cousin's, my mom's cousin's house and hang out there a few times. Like the family just hung out for like two or th two weeks for Christmas and New Year's. And it just felt like everyone coming together and getting along and all of us kids were getting along and hanging out. And then, and then in the midst of it all, I like had the biggest crush on Jeremiah and he just made my heart sing and like his sister and I would laugh about like it was just so fun and so teen movie-ish and like it was exciting it was exciting it was the only time in my life as a teenager where I had like some real excitement that was not a fantasy you know what I mean like it wasn't a fantasy, it wasn't just all in my head. And it was just a fun, exciting, amazing time. Like I was excited the whole, you know, when something happens or something is going on and you're just excited the whole time, your heart is like, you're just excited, you know what I mean? You know, after New Year's, they had to leave and I got really depressed like I was like really upset and I think it was more like at the time I thought it was because Jeremiah was was leaving and I knew I'd never see him again even though like you say oh well you know we're gonna come back and, and visit blah 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 you know people it usually never happens so I knew I would never I just knew that I would never see him again well as as young people anyway it turned out like years later at a family reunion um, I did see him again but anyway it wasn't looking back I wasn't depressed because Jeremiah was leaving I was depressed because there were gonna be no more get-togethers there was gonna be no more parties no more family coming together and hanging out that's what I was depressed about and I can look back and see that now it was more about that it had nothing to do with him leaving 
So that's like my number one Christmas memory. Do I look slimy? Thank you, Lisa, for another awesome tag. I love your tags. They rock my world.